we um we cooked a Thanksgiving dinner over here for the people at Spitafield's Crypt Trust um, for about a hundred homeless people in, in November. And my whole team went over and we served them. And we're talking to the people there and they were explaining how, you know, about 90% of the people on the streets suffer from an alcohol or drug addiction. And it's, it's intertwined with um, usually economic problems, childhood trauma, and homelessness, and it's hard to know where one stops and the other finishes. And the, you know, a lot of the reality was you're on the street, you got nowhere to live, your self-esteem is low, you've got also nothing to do all day, what are you gonna do? Have a drink and have some drugs. Oh, quiet, and, numb your pain, yeah. It's actually interesting you should say, so one of my, I'm working, one of my colleagues is a guy called Ben Sessa, Dr. Ben Sessa, he's a, yeah, he's a, um, a psychiatrist, and he was a child psychiatrist. In fact, he was the guy that about 15 years ago goaded me into starting research on psychedelics. Really? And uh, he wrote an article for the British Journal of Psychiatry saying we ought to think about psych psych psychedelics. And I've long thought about psychedelics, but I thought, well, this is quite interesting, so there's someone out there. And the, and the College of Psychiatrists, they, they, uh, they said to me, would I, would I read this article? And because you know, it's about pharmacology. And would I you know, check, check it's all right? So I read it, I thought, well, that's, it's interesting, you know, it's a bit, hyperbolic, but I mean, it's, you know, there's, there's some sense in it. And so I rang him up and I said, you know, what, what are you doing? And he's, you know, what's this all about? And he said, well, I, uh, I'm interested in the, you know, the therapeutic potential of these drugs. And we talked about that. And, um, and, and since then he moved from being a child psychiatrist to being an adult psychiatrist. And, and we're working together on the treatment of alcoholism with M using MDMA. But he, give, he says this, he says this amazing thing, which is really makes you think, he says, when, as a child psychiatrist, you know, you see all these abused kids and you try to nurture them and, 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 and make good the deficits and the missed opportunities and the, you know, all the things that have gone wrong. As soon as they become adults, you put them in prison. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's their fault then. As soon as it becomes, you know, just as they get older, it becomes their fault. And, it, and I think he's absolutely right. You know, we, we don't, we're, and that's one of the reasons we've set up this, this trial we're doing with MDMA for alcoholism. Because the majority of adults who drink alcohol to excess, or not the majority, but a lot of them, are drinking to suppress the memories of trauma. So let's try to use MDMA, which is now MAPS are using in the States as an anti-trauma agent. Let's try to use that to get rid of their the alcoholics' trauma. Maybe they will stop drinking. You know, cut off the, the reason for the drinking. So we've been doing that study.